Princeton was how to do in work independently, um, especially my senior thesis. Uh, how to have fun, and that having fun is what? the best part of going to college. All right. uh, it's very important for us to understand all the details of uh, anything that we pursue. But that kind of technical knowledge doesn't matter unless it's placed within a broader framework of values. And I've really gotten a sense of here of what it means to try to live a good life, um, and do right by others. You know, how to get things done. Um, and they put a lot on your plate and expect you to get it all done, even if you may not have time, but you kind of learn you know, how to get through and prioritize things. No matter how bad the day is today, the sun will rise again tomorrow and everything will be good. What I've learned from Princeton, I guess, is that you really need to step at least socially out of your comfort zone and try to connect to people. You can't really do anything on your own. You need other people to help you and to guide you. Suffering comes with happiness. Happiness comes with suffering! <laughs> happiness comes with suffering! <laughs> Uh, the, the night of the bonfire in, in November. I took high tech entrepreneurship uh, last semester. Ed Shao, he was a teacher and he was retiring, but his last, it was his last class, he's been teaching class for 30 years. It was incredible and his last class was in, uh, amazing. I probably would have to extend that to a best week and I think that was probably the Princeton breakout experience which I led this past spring break. Uh, we traveled to Pittsburgh and we were studying hydraulic fracturing and its impact on the environment and the economics of Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm a rugby player for the women's team and my best day in my Princeton career was when we won the Ivy League championship this past spring. I think the period between our final finals and graduation is probably the most glorious time that we spend at Princeton where we can just enjoy the environment, enjoy the people um, without the pressures of academic work. I remember one night where we were all just like sitting down, we are just watching a movie and I think that I felt that was the best day, just like a normal night. Can I combine this entire like past weekend into one? It was awesome. The period was so cool. My favorite experience here. <laughs> Oh, today's pretty great. Uh, it'd be pretty, pretty hard to beat today. One of my professors, Miriam Kunkler, uh, I'm actually, I have a job with her later on next year, and uh, she's my thesis advisor, uh, and she's been really supportive and encouraging. It's been great. Uh, my Korean uh, teachers, who love teaching, also were good friends to me. Um, probably friends and roommates, um, along with a couple of professors that were really important to me. Probably say this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe grow up. We lived together for uh, two years and, um, I don't know, challenged me every single day, whether it be cleaning my room or making it to class or, I don't know, making up to the showers first so I get all the hot water.